Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Be Positive, Stay Positive podcast. My name is Nat and I'm here for you. I am here for you, usually three times a week, not much lately, but hopefully to cheer you up and help you find those keys to the door that will unlock your happiness. And that's my main purpose here is to help you be happy because that's what we're here for. Hey, if this is your first time here, glad you're here. I hope you like the show. Please share it, get it out there. As you can tell, I am mobile today, driving in uh, my car in the rain. There's no snow today, but that's okay. Uh, we got to get this positivity out there and thrive on positivity, all right? Don't forget about my book, The Positive Perspective, available on Amazon or through my website, thebepositivepodcast.com. There, a pop-up will come up, and you can order the book directly from me and skip big tech. Don't give them your money. And uh, and you can also get a, a, a personalized copy there as well, which seems to be the popular choice. I love signing books for you, and I love hearing the feedback because I don't know you, and I go off your name and what you say in an email, and then I write what I feel. And a lot of times, people are like, wow, it's like you've known me forever. And it's just really, uh, really weird, kind of a spiritual thing when I sign books for people. It makes me, makes me feel good. Uh, all right, what do I want to talk about today? It's going to be short and sweet because I am driving. But uh, I, I, you know, I'm seeing so many people that are focusing on the negative stuff in the world, all the negativity, all the bad, and trying to point it out to everybody else and saying there's so many bad things and every time they post something or talk to you, all they're doing is talking about the negative things in the world, the bad things that are going on. And of course, absolutely, there's a lot of bad stuff going on in the world. And we do need to address it. We do need to try to stop it from happening and and uh, try to fix up this world that we live in. But it should not be the focus of our life. I don't think that you should dedicate your entire life to trying to point out all the evil in the world to every single person on the planet because it doesn't. It's not going to change much, and you're not going to wake people up. All you're gonna do is you're gonna end up living in such a uh, depressed state or a negative state that you're never gonna really experience life and happiness to its fullest like we're intended to do. So when you're focusing on uh, the bad stuff in government, the bad stuff going around the world, the bad uh, wars that are going on, the bad things that are going on with people and their, their bodies and whatever it is that you're focusing on and then you're posting about it and you're talking about it and you're researching it and you're living this negative life how do you expect to really enjoy your life and to me if you think about it I mean I was there I was I used to post a lot of stuff about all the things to try to wake people up to try to point things out to try to basically force my opinions on people which is what you're doing because nobody knows facts nobody knows what's really going on you're, nobody on this planet really knows what's going on with anything. We don't know our place in the universe. That sound you hear is my wipers. We don't know where we come from. We don't know where we're headed. We don't know our purpose. We don't know. Uh, it's all a belief system. You believe in religion. You believe in aliens. You believe in in uh, life after death. You believe there's nothing after you die. Uh, so when it's a, all a belief system because we have no facts on anything. Nobody has any facts on anything. And the facts that you see are just manipulated to, to perpetuate the agenda of the person presenting the facts. And I honestly believe that. Um, you know, science is an ever-evolving thing. It's always changing because we're learning more about it. So it's not, a perf it's not perfect. There's things in uh, 100 years ago that they said cocaine would heal everybody and uh, and put mercury in your body and you'll feel better and you'll be healthy or what I don't know if that's true or not but it's just a suggestion or a little thing there but it, and then we find out later that it's not true and it's bad for you fluoride is good for you then we find out it's bad for you milk is good for you milk is bad. nobody knows nobody knows and you talk to different people they all have different opinions which is what this is all about this life thing is all about having your differences of opinions existing with each other it, with those differences of opinions and blossoming as a human being and that's not really much to ask but it is for a lot of people because they see the negative in the world they see the bad they see the evil and they put themselves on a mission to expose it to show it to help other people to see it 
but that's not your job. Your job is not to wake other people up. Your job is not to tell other people your opinions and continually force your opinions down people's throats. Your job is to live your life to the fullest, to be happy, to share happiness, to be positive, to leave a positive mark, and to help people and to actually be, be a, a good person. There was a time when I would repost and share and, and talk to people about all my beliefs in what's going on in the world, what's going on with government, what's going on with people, what's going on in the medical field. And I was adamant about it and I felt like if you didn't believe what I was showing you, then you're stupid. And I started thinking, after a while, it took a while, I started really analyzing what I was doing and that's totally going against what I talk about all the time. So, we all have our opinions. It's okay to share them once in a while, but when it becomes your life to try to change people's minds, to try to wake people up, so to speak, to try to point out things to everybody else, we are here to awaken on our own. Sure, pointing things out here and there is great. It's fine. It's you know, to me, it's pointing out the obvious. And uh, at some point, you have to just say, "I'm done trying to help everybody else. I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm here to live, laugh, and love." I think uh, I think that's one of the greatest sayings that uh, in the world, and it's on the Hard Rock Wall. I love it um, because it's why we're here. And if if you're dwelling on the negative and you're always trying to point out the, the bad stuff and tell people what's wrong with the world or what's wrong with the society and you're you're showing your thoughts on it because it is just your thoughts it's your opinions on what you've been exposed to which media outlets you're listening to which uh, which threads you go down which rabbit holes you go down what videos you watch on YouTube what what uh, stuff you're allowed to see on the internet because it is all censored so, and you're basing your opinions on that. You don't have facts. You don't have uh, um, an alien that you could talk to. You can't actually physically talk to God. It's all a belief system. It's all you believe you're talking to God. You believe you're uh, seeing aliens. You believe that uh, the world is falling apart. Or you believe that everything is the way it should be. Whatever it is that you believe is right for you. And it's when you understand that and you say, okay, this is my world that I've created. This is my belief system. This is what I think is going on. Let me just let other people have the same freedoms that I demand for myself. I want to be able to think my own thoughts and do my own things and not have someone tell me what to think and not have someone tell me that, no, what, you're th what you think is real isn't real. This is real. Unless, of course, they have the facts. And the facts have to be facts, not propaganda based um, conjecture or, or whatever the word is I'm looking for I don't know if that's the right one <laughs> but it's it's I don't want your facts to be someone else's opinion or someone else's uh, creation of a, of, of a scenario so what I guess what I'm trying to say is stop trying to change people's minds stop trying to convince other people that your way is right, that what you see is correct, that what is going on in the world in your eyes is actually what's happening. Stop wasting your time trying to change everybody to, to your way of thinking. That's not what this world is about. This is about being able to be free thinkers, be able to think for yourself, to decide for yourself, to live your life the way you want to live without bullshit from anybody else. So let's all try to be positive. We say it all the time. Let's try to focus on our goals and focus on the, some positive things in, in, in your existence. And let's start perpetuating the good instead of squawking about the bad all the time. Let's put that behind us. Let's put all the bad, because it's there, it's not going anywhere. Evil has always been here. It's always going to be here. You're not going to change it as one person. You might point it out to one other person or a couple other people. But in at what cost? 
if you devote your whole life to focusing on the negative and you turn one person around, some people might say, well, that's worth it. Well, maybe it is to you, but did you really live your life? And on the other side of that, if you really think your life should be lived in misery like that and lived in the negative so you can point out and you feel that that is your mission to point out the bad in the world, well, then who am I to tell you not to do it? I, I have no place to tell you how to live your life. I am just suggesting that focusing on the negative no, it's 80% of your life or 100% of your life and always putting out negative stuff and saying this person's bad, this is evil, this is what's happening to try to save the world, so to speak. You're sacrificing yourself. You're sacrificing your chance to be happy. So if, if you feel like you're doing that, take a break, step back a minute. Look at the beauty of the world. Look at nature. Look at the people that are in your life that you're surrounded with that you really haven't talked to about love and happiness and fun things and, and all you're talking about is the bad things with them and you're always on edge and they're, they're, they think you're uh, maybe a conspiracy theorist or you're crazy or you don't know what's going on in the world. You just see it through these rose-colored glasses and, um, and may, maybe have a different outlook on life and a different perspective on how to, to get your point across mm -hmm. to people. And how to share your thoughts in a positive way. All right? So try that today. Try that today. Stop. Don't go down those rabbit holes and look at all that negative shit that's going on in the world because it's it's been there forever. We just see it more now. And remember, what you're finding on the internet, what you see on the internet is only what you're being allowed to see. <laughs> no matter where you go, no matter what you see, on TV or on any kind of media platform, you're only seeing what you're being allowed to see. All right? So that's all I got today. That's, that's it. It was supposed to be short, but it ended up being a little bit longer than I thought. But I want you to be happy. I want you to focus on the happy stuff. And don't live your life to try to change the world and try to change people's thinking. Because think about it. And flip it over. Do you want someone to try to change your thinking? I'm not trying to change your thinking. I'm trying to change the, your perspective and switch it to a positive one. All right? A positive perspective. Hey, have you heard that before? That's right. If you haven't gotten my book yet, please go grab it today. Grab a copy today. I want to see it. I want to see you grab a copy today. I want to get that notification that you purchased my book in support of the positive podcast because that's what you're doing. When you buy my book, it shows me that I'm actually getting through and I'm actually making a mark on this world because when you stop buying the book and, and stop listening to the show then I just won't do it anymore <laughs> if you're not if you don't care but uh, that's it and now uh, head over to the website thepositivepodcast.com uh, I'm in I, I have been in the process of creating a new store a new merchandise so if you like any of the other stuff better grab it while you can because that's coming all, all coming down and you'll be able to get get it directly from Amazon a lot faster because uh, the company that I've been using takes two, three weeks, and it's not the highest quality product from what I understand. Um, that, oh, I can't say that. I shouldn't say that. It's pretty good quality. I like it. Um, anyway, there's no editing on the fly here, so that's the way it goes. My name is Nat. This has been the Be Positive, Stay Positive podcast. I think we can all do a little bit better. I'll talk to you later.